Number 50, consider this question. What is the mass of a solute in 200 liters of a 1.556 molarity solution of KBR? So letter A, we have to outline the steps that are necessary to answer the question, and then obviously B, we have to solve. Okay, so what was the question asking for, right? The question was asking for what is the mass? The mass is always in grams. So let's just keep that in mind. They want us to find the grams of something, and they gave us a volume, a liter, and they gave us a molarity. I know that this is a molarity because any time that I see capital M, that's the unit for molarity. Molarity only has one, uh, molarity only has two units. You're either going to see it in capital M or moles over liters. So since I see this as a capital M, I know that it's a molarity. So I have a molarity. I have a liter, right? And this is a volume. So I use the equations that I know between what I have right? I'm going to use the molarity equation. Um, in a lot of the questions that I did before this, if you guys are on the playlist, I went through the specific molarity equation. However, I'm going to show you something a little bit cooler and it's this triangle right here. Who look how beautiful that is. Let me just zoom this down a little bit. Okay. Now yours doesn't have to be, you know, as colorful as mine. The whole idea here is that you need a triangle you need a T inside the triangle, and then you need to just separate your units. Capital M has to be here, capital M for molarity, moles up on top, and liters on the bottom right. This is the molarity formula in a different way of seeing it, um, but this helps us uh, use the molarity formula when we're not really searching for molarity and we're searching for something else. Now. We have a volume, right? We have a liter, so check. We have a molarity, so we have this. From this, what are we going to solve for, guys? Yeah, we can solve for the moles. That's the only, these are the only three units that are related, molarity, liters, and moles. So by this information and knowing this, we can only solve for a mole right at the moment. So for letter A, the first step is to get the moles of KBr. And I say KBr because that was the compound that they gave us. Okay. Now, well, was that what the question was asking for? No, the question was asking for the mass, the grams. I have a mole value. But we've done tons of dimensional analysis questions, right? And we have a trick down here that I recommend you guys were to remember. If you have a mole of any compound or element and you want the grams, AKA the mass of that same compound or element, you're going this way, right? From moles to grams. All you have to do is take your mole value and multiply it by the molecular weight or the molar mass. Remember the molecular weight or the molar mass is found on the periodic table. Okay. So that would be step two. And now maybe I'll put step two down here. Step two is now we're going to convert the moles that we have to uh, the mass that we have in grams. And then finally, that would be our answer. Okay. Maybe I'll just, because now I have to do the actual work. All right, so here we go. Letter B. We're actually going to follow through with this. So we got to get those moles coming from this little cute little chart, right? Now, this is how you use the chart. Whatever you're searching for, in this case, moles, if you write this down on an actual piece of paper, what you would do is you would hover over your thumb or any one of your fingers on the one that you're looking for. So in this case, since we want the moles, I'm going to hover my thumb, but I can't because this is, you know, on the internet. <laughs> So I will cross this off. Basically, if you hover your thumb over it, you won't see it anymore, right? And this would be the equation that you're doing. So whatever you're solving for, I'm just going to write that down. Moles equals, I'm searching for this. So I hover over it. I don't see it anymore. And now all I see is molarity and a liter. Since these are on the same level, 
You see how they're literally on the same level? They're not up here. Since they're on the same level, the same level means multiplication. If you're going from top to bottom, that would be division. But we're not doing that here. We're doing multiplication. So moles always equals molarity times the liters. Okay, now let's get to it. Moles of the KBR equals the molarity, which would be 1.556. And if you want to just keep the numbers in, that's fine. I don't really care. Right, I'm just going to put the units. So it would be 1.556 molarity times the 200.0 liters moles equal 1.556 times 200. We both have four sig figs in both of them. So we should have four sig figs. So we have 300. Wow, that's a crazy amount of, of moles. <laughs> 311.2 moles of KBR. Okay. Now the first step is done. Now we just got to convert moles to grams. So moles to grams, I'm just going to multiply by my molecular weight. So 311.2 moles of KBR times the molecular weight, but they didn't give it to us. So we have to go find it. Remember, this is just on the periodic table. You're going to calculate what the molecular mass is or the molar weight or whatever you want to call it of K, one potassium and one bromine. So let's see. Let's see if your answer closely matches mine. I'm going to take the exact numbers. So potassium is 39.1 and bromine is 79.9. Oh, I, I get roughly one. I get exactly 119 grams per mole. This is the molecular weight that you're going to times your moles by. So I'm going to times 311.2 times 119 grams per mole. And we get our answer. 311.2 times 119. I should have four sig figs because technically this is an exact number, so they don't count in sig fig calculations. And I'm going to put this into scientific notation. So 3.703 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's how many grams of KBR. And that's your mass. So that's it, guys. Two-step problems. We first do the molarity formula to find moles, and then it's just a quick conversion. Hopefully this helped. Just make sure you memorize this chart. This chart is going to help us. And you could use this chart for other things like the density formula. You could use this chart as well with the density units. Um, but just for now, just kind of memorize it as the molarity one. All right. So hopefully this helps. Let me know. Um, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to. If not, that's okay. Love you guys anyway. All right. You guys have rocked. You guys rock. And you will always rock. I will see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.